back here at home with head coach Patrick Baker. Coach, a one to nothing win over North Texas. You know, you say every game's equal. This is a big three points in conference, and the atmosphere here tonight was just fantastic. Yeah, nice, nice cr crowd for our red out. Um, appreciate everybody coming out. Um, of course, there'll be a lot of people interested in a North Texas FAU women's soccer game. Um, you know, pretty much as expected. Um, you know, we scouted them well. Um, and um, But still, they're a really good team. They created chances in the flow of the game, offset pieces, long throw-ins, free kicks, corner kicks, and it's just a 90-minute deluge of that. And, um, you know, to shut them out um, after kind of leaking some goals over the last few conference games and uh, for P, a senior, to uh, step up and be calm and collected on the PK. Um, and just, you know, we're, we've, we've been very good at just taking it game by game, staying in the moment. And, um, you know, by far it wasn't, our, it wasn't our best soccer, but a lot of that has to do with the pressure that North Texas puts on you. And you got to pick your moments when you want to play, and you got to pick your moments when you're probably going to maybe be a little bit more direct. Um, and I don't think in the first half we were quite in balance with that, but I thought early in the second half, um, you know, we tried, to, you know, we were creating chances and corner kicks and free kicks and ultimately got, you know, um, the call for the PK. And, um, you know, made it stand up. Cass was very good in goal, handled some things, made some saves. You know, they probably had three or good, probably three or four good looks that they didn't put on frame, which, you know, if they're on frame, it may be a different type of a game. But, you know, at the conclusion of 90, you know, we managed to find one and and um, and keep a clean sheet. So, told the girls make sure they you know stay level-headed, enjoy tonight's victory, and you know we got a short <laughs> we got a short turnaround before playing another really good team. I mean, this is this is the toughest back-to-back -back, you know conference you know duo weekend you're going to have Rice and North Texas, and uh, very few get a point, very few get a win, and very few are going to get you know a win and a tie or two wins and. You know, we talked about setting the table tonight, you know, and getting three points, and then let's just let it all hang out on Sunday and see what happens uh, against Rice. You know, North Texas is perennially a you know, top team in this conference. Um, you know, sometimes you're playing the team on the front of the jersey, but, but you guys did, like you said, keep your cool. And, you know, we've got, you know, we, we played them. These guys played them as freshmen in the conference semifinals and, um, <clears throat> and beat them. Um, and then, of course, they beat us. Uh, the next year in the conference semifinals here. Um, and then we played at their place last year and had to play on turf. Um, and, and they got us there. And, um, you know, but the, the two times that we played them here in 2014, we beat them 2 0. And, you know, tonight. And, um, you know, just every year is a different year, but they were 2 and 4 on the road coming in. Uh, their two wins were against US, UTSA and Incarnate Word. And just thought, you know, we're, we're FAU. And you're going to have to come and, and do something special. And uh, so at the end of the last two games, with only having you know lost here to Florida, I think says something about what we're doing this year and what we've been like at home. And hopefully we can just keep that going. Uh, you mentioned Cass, um, arguably her best game of the year, you know, as far as saves goes, and uh, just you know controlling her back line, and, and they played fantastic as well. The uh, back line, I thought, set a nice tone early. You know, they were winning a lot of the bigger balls. They were reading service. Um, you know, collecting flick ons maybe from the midfield that entered the back line. They were stepping in and when they could connect the game, they did. And when they had to play a little bit bigger, um, you know, that happened a little bit more in the first half for them because they had to win. You know, there's a little bit of a win tonight and, and we got the win in the second half. Um, so balls were checking up a little bit more for them and, and, you know, that were running out of bounds in the first half. They were checking up nicely in the second half. And I thought, you know, when they brought in Bird, you know, as a center forward, um, I thought she changed the complexion of the game a lot because now they could play into a much bigger, taller, taller target. Um, and she was not only turning herself, but she was bringing others into the game. Um, and so that was just one thing that maybe didn't materialize as much in the first half, but definitely I thought showed for them in the second. Like you said, right back at it Sunday against Rice, and it, it doesn't get any easier. Yeah, and, you know, again, just similar. We've had some great battles with those guys. And, um, you know, last year we kind of had to beat them on the Sunday just to give ourselves a chance at staying in the title race because we'd lost to North Texas. Um, and just to give ourselves, you know, another day and being in consideration. Um, and, and for them as well, you know, they're beating FIU tonight. So, you know, they're 6-0 and 2 with two left ourselves in North Texas. And so, you know, they've got a lot to play for just as much as we do. So um, I think it'd just be uh, who can recover quickest.
focused and then who's going to perform the best on Sunday. But pleased with the girls tonight. Tremendous win, huge RPI win, huge win for the conference, and um, just proud of uh, proud of the effort. Well, congrats on tonight. We'll talk to you on Sunday. Thanks, sir.